All right, we got it. Awesome. <laughs> so we're going to filter the water with the vapor. An idea. I love this. A conversation. What I'm saying is. And then it happens. This is not abstract. This is a real, tangible plan to improve people's lives, to save people's lives. Is so far the greatest teacher I've ever had. Now check this out. This isn't shenanigans. It's not magic. It's math. It's almost magic. Dr. John Abraham, the professor deal. of thermal sciences, the takes the complex and makes it understandable. What I'm trying to do is show them this topic applied to real world situations. And it works. The project was to produce power for my mom's village. Tembe, Uganda. Ever since his youth, Brian Osende had a dream of bringing it electricity. So I came in with my solar power project and I was able to power the whole village. Osende completed his power project while still a student. Now graduated, he's designing water delivery systems in Uganda, a mission requiring numerous check-ins with his mentor. You get to know these students who then become colleagues. So, I mean, Brian, yeah, he's a, he's a student of mine, but he's a peer and a colleague, and it's great to work together to solve problems that other people have not been able to solve. I've just repackaged radiation to look like a convection. If there's one thing, John, is very good at is, yes, he wants students to change the world, but he also does it with examples of himself. Welcome to the committee. Please Abraham has become a leading voice on climate change. In order to deal with the problem of climate change, we need to act quickly to institute clean sources of energy. He takes on the most powerful people, far more powerful than he is. But his power comes from facts and science, and he defeats them. And he's willing to take the risk of, of what might happen um, if he believes in something. Abraham gained international attention when he took on critics of climate change. And I was surprised at the very quick vitriolic response I got from the internet and the blogosphere. And that was met by a very supportive response from St. Thomas. It occurred to John and his colleagues, we should have a way for inquiring reporters to be able to be hooked up with actual people who can explain the science to them. Together, they connect reporters with the right sources. It's been a ball to take these incredibly great minds that uh, John has introduced me to and help them say, well, here's how we talk about these, these subjects. Does anyone remember? If you do remember, you are a total nerd which I love you, but you're spending too much time with heat transfer. If you remember this weird number. Heat transfer is his expertise, but his goal? That's for metrics. Is to ignite a flame to last a lifetime. In many ways, I'm in awe of John. 1.71 times 10 to the minus nine. Boundly energetic, hugely optimistic, fearless, compassionate, and fast moving. <laughs> What I hope they take away is intellectual curiosity and passion. I mean, in engineering, we're teaching really complex technical subjects, and that can be daunting to students, but behind it is the power to change the world. He also encouraged students um, independent thinking. Graduate student Helen Sun is working with Abraham on a medical device to safely remove plaque from arteries. The end result of this is to treat a disease in a less invasive manner than is currently done. Nothing is basically impossible. If you dream, focus on it, you can achieve it. He has given the University of St. Thomas a wonderful profile nationally. He's here first for his students, to mentor them, to teach them, to learn from them. People are really engaged in learning together and tackling really, really tough problems. And that enthusiasm and that courage is a real hallmark of a great class, and, and that's what we strive for every semester.